Now we're going to turn to commercial real estate concerns plaguing the entire country. The big issue, office spaces are not being as used as much as they were before the pandemic, and it's due to a rise of working from home and many people exiting the workforce. Now, if there are vacancies in the future, we could see an increase in loan defaults that could cost banks billions of dollars. The government has t taken action to stabilize banks for now, including First Republic Bank. On Monday, it collapsed and was left under the control of the feds, who then quickly sold it to J.P. Morgan. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is taking an in-depth look at what the trends are in Metro Detroit's commercial real estate market. When you take a look at the commercial real estate market in Metro Detroit, you can see on the menu, stress. When you look at the office market vacancy rate, it is now at 20.7%. That is an eight-year high, and that doesn't just impact the owners of buildings impacted where the vacancies are, but surrounding businesses, such as Fuddruckers in Southfield. Just over seven years ago, when Randy Bahura bought the Fuddruckers in Southfield, he had a business hypothesis. Fuddruckers is, uh, is known for, we make our own uh, bread. We have uh, never frozen beef, Angus beef. Lunchtime would be busy as workers from the nearby Southfield Town Center came to eat. And for a time, that's what happened. Then, COVID-19. The lunch crowd has been total disaster for the past, like, two, three years now. Randy says workers who stop in now mention they often work from home, shrinking his market size. I assume that those were a draw for a lot of the businesses around right, here. Right, that's the reason why we came to this location, because of the towers. 7 Action News reached out to the leasing office and did not hear back, but as you can see on the Southfield Town Center website, there are vacancies listed for rent. We're still not sure yet how back to office is going to work. Sandy Barua is CEO of the Detroit Regional Chamber. He says as leases expire in coming years, we will understand the impact of the pandemic on commercial real estate in Metro Detroit much better. The chamber shared research that shows, though, when leases expire, large office users are taking advantage of remote capabilities, moving to smaller spaces. The Southfield, Troy, and Farmington Hills office submarkets so far, our hardest hit. The three submarkets alone added over 1 million square feet of available space to the market during the first quarter of 2023. Still, Barua says there are areas of optimism. My level of confidence in commercial real estate is actually pretty high. So one, when you think about industrial real estate, kind of like where manufacturing is occurring or where logistics uh, facilities are being built, the demand for those kinds of facilities are very, very high. Downtown Class A real estate, there's still a demand. Now, the Class B and C buildings, you know, the ones that aren't quite premier buildings, I think those are going to be challenges. Ultimately, this could mean trouble for certain communities when and if values decrease, impacting tax assessments. Back at Fuddruckers, Randy Bahura is working to overcome those challenges within his business, offering specials to attract a dinner crowd and families. Hopefully that whoever's watching this can come support us because we sure can need, we need all the help we can get. In Southfield, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Kim.